Hey guys, welcome to this video. It is Ellie's birthday. Actually, her birthday was four days ago, five days ago. Ellie is one year old now. I'll keep calling her, Ellie! But she won't come because I put a bow in her hair. And anytime I put a bow in her hair, she won't come to me. So everybody wish Ellie a happy birthday. If you don't know who Ellie is, Ellie is my one year old Yorkshire Terrier puppy. And she is a, one of the big loves of my life. She is amazing. And I always plan to do a one year video of her. Anyway, this is Ellie and I want to tell you her story. Most of my life I had chihuahuas. I love their tiny size. I loved everything about them. But when we moved to a farm, they proved not to be really good farm dogs. So when I lost my last chihuahua at 14 years of age, I decided I was gonna get a Yorkie. I had always wanted a Yorkie my whole entire life, but I never could justify spending $2,400 to buy a puppy when I could get a chihuahua, which I already knew that I loved for half that price. So when I lost my beloved chihuahua, just before Christmas last year, I decided if I'm ever gonna go for it, if I'm ever gonna try and get a Yorkie, this is gonna be the time. So I started researching almost immediately. To some, it may seem like I bought her really, really quickly, but in fact, I looked for weeks, scoured all the, all the sale ads, and tried to find a breeder that I liked. I wanted a very specific look to my Yorkie and I wanted it to be registered and I was not ready to negotiate those two things. I was shopping in Costco one day and an ad popped up on my phone and I don't know what made me look at it but I looked at it and I saw Ellie and she was exactly what I wanted. In fact, all the puppies from this one breeder were the exact look of Yorkie that I was looking for. In particular, I wanted to have a bigger sized Yorkie. I did not want to get a teeny tiny one I already knew that farm life wasn't as conducive to tiny dogs as one might think, so I definitely wanted a bigger one. I messaged the lady right then and there and got all the information, and before you know it, I was picking Ellie up. She was 12 weeks old and she was adorable. I was ready to start this new life with my beloved little Yorkie. So I did all the research before I decided that a Yorkie was the dog for me. You guys probably know that Yorkies are playful and confident. I also read that Yorkies can be considered high maintenance because of the uh, because of how much grooming they need and also because of their personality. They can be confident and feisty, but some of them can even be jealous and boisterous and bossy. In fact, a lot of people told me that I shouldn't get a Yorkie because they can be mean and they can be vicious and they are snappy and they are overly protective. Yorkies tend to be fiercely loyal and have an abundance of energy. And sometimes that can make them difficult to train. But I was hooked. I always wanted a Yorkie. I'm an energetic person and I wanted an energetic dog and I was excited. So even though people told me not to get one, I went out there and I got one. I thought I was prepared, but I wasn't. When I got Ellie, I thought I was getting one thing, but I ended up getting something completely different. She was 12 weeks old and right off the bat, she wanted nothing to do with me. She wanted me to play with her and she wanted me to spend time with her. She wanted me to sit on the floor with her and she wanted me to be there. But if I even reached forward to try and touch her and pick her up and cuddle her and snuggle her, she would dart backwards. And she did not want to be held. She did not want to sleep in my bed. She literally wanted nothing to do with me. Another issue that I had right from the beginning was that she was little and the breeder told me that this is how much food she needs and don't go above that. If you go above that, she's gonna get really big and you don't want her to get overweight because of all the health issues. And so I didn't want her to get overweight. I, I, didn't, I didn't want her to have issues. So I tried to maintain this diet that the breeder set for her and right from the beginning, she was starving. I talked about it so many times in our videos. She was hungry all the time. She would sneak downstairs in the middle of the night. She would try and get into the food. She would spend most of the day trying to get food. She would climb into, like we have to, we had to set up a gate around the big storage bucket that we keep our dog food in. Like it was impossible. I tried getting a, um, a feeding mat for her so she'd have to like, look through this mat to get her food. I got feeding bowls that wouldn't slow her down and make it look, her food last longer. Nothing worked. Finally, after a few months, I basically was like, you know, this is not me. I believe that dogs, I believe that when you don't withhold food from a dog, that they will manage their diet and their weight appropriately. Uh, it's what we've done with all of our dogs. And so I finally just for, said, forget it. And I let her 
choose when she needed to eat and how much she needed to eat. Um, from that moment on, things started to drastically change for us. What didn't change was that any time I do something to Ellie that she doesn't like, like put a bow in her hair, brush her, cuddle her in my bed, pull her towards my body and try and snuggle her, poof, she is gone and she might not come back for a long time. She's not a snuggly dog. She it gets overheated so easily. And just like I had a wish list of things I wanted in her, she has a wish list of things that she <laughs> needed in me. And for the first little while, I was failing and I was struggling with my bond with Ellie. I wanted a bond so strongly with her and I tried everything. I spent hours on the floor playing with her just so that she would like me. But with Ellie, if you do something that she doesn't like, <laughs> She's gone. Over time, the more I relaxed and just let things go and just let Ellie lead me to what she needed, things got better. I'm so glad that I listened to her and I stopped trying to control every aspect of our relationship. I just let her guide me. And once I did that, things just unfolded in a way that I can't even imagine. It makes me even want to tear up. But basically, Ellie is a confident, happy, friendly little dog. She does have moments of jealousy like like many Yorkies do, but she's not fierce about it. She is very polite about it. She jumps on my lap if another animal is on my lap. If she thinks that somebody else is trying to get my attention, she will jump on my lap, but she's not snippy and she doesn't bark at them. She's not mean, she's not aggressive. She's fiercely loyal. And while she loves everybody in our family and will go to any of them easily, she spends time every morning with Sam on his lap. Um, she loves Sophie, she loves, she is fiercely loyal to me, and if I cry, if I sometimes pretend to cry, she will fly out of nowhere and be on my lap. She is so incredibly sensitive, but not sensitive in a way that's like, she can take a joke. For sure she can take a joke, but she is so sensitive in her love for me, and that is one of the most shocking things that I discovered about Ellie. Ellie loves fiercely, and not only does she love me fiercely, she is she gets along with almost every animal on our farm. She chases the chickens, she chases the goats, but she doesn't do it in a mean way. She just wants to play with them. She wants to be so friendly with them. We recently got a new kitten, and, and Ellie welcomed that little kitten with open arms. One of our dogs hates Ellie. Molly, our border collie, hates her. I understand why she hates her. She's a whirling ball of off running and barking and she's just so hyper and Molly can't stand her but Ellie would do anything for Molly to be friends with her she she is hilarious she is the funniest dog I've ever had she jumps in every water trough that we have our dog is swimming in the water trough <laughs> <laughs> the water dog. She is a water dog. Must be hot. She wants to sit. <laughs> Ruby's asking, what the heck is going on? Oh, here she goes. Here she goes. She swims in our dock pool. She chases the animals. She has energy for- Film your dog. Oh my god. Ellie. No. Stay. Get back there. <laughs> Days and she's always up for anything. No matter what I ask of her, she will always be game. From the very beginning, I tried to socialize her with people, with other dogs, and I used to take her- and I took her every place that I could think of. She came everywhere with me. She was out on the farm from day one, around the horses, around the other animals, and it paid off. That little dog loves every animal. Wherever we go, she loves every person. I- she has never met a person she doesn't like, ever. She- she goes up to strangers and she's submissive and she's friendly and she's curious. Recently took her on the Santa Claus parade and she was, she had the best time of her life. She's living her best life. It turned out that she is a perfect farm dog. She has the energy that I needed um, in a dog to be on, a far on this farm with us.
she runs and she plays all day long. She sleeps hard, she plays hard, she eats hard, and she loves hard. I have never met another dog more suited to me than Ellie. And while it's true, I miss the love that I got from my Chihuahuas. My Chihuahuas, I could carry them everywhere and they were happy to be carried. I could snuggle them all day long and they would be happy. They would sleep next to my heart, underneath the covers, all cuddled up. If I tried to do that with Ellie, she would be on the dog bed with our other dog so fast. As it is, she sleeps in between Sam and I on top of the covers um, with the cat. She, the cat and her are always head to head, sleeping in the middle of Sam and I on the bed, but heaven forbid if we ever tried to pet her or cuddle her or pull her close or under the covers. I just wanted to make this little video so that when I look back later on in time, I can remember how Ellie was when I first got her and remember the parts of, and remember parts of our first year together. She is nothing like I thought she was going to be, but she is everything I always need.